the Dean Truth here. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Science and religion agrees more than it doesn't agree. But, you know, everybody want to be on their side and not consider everything. If we consider everything, we all going to be good. We all going to have the same basic understanding and we'll be more productive as a race, meaning the human race. Right there, you got the moon. It's, I don't, you know, whether you want to call it a planet or a moon or a rock, it's close compared to, uh, you know, you can like see details versus like, you know, uh, Mars or Jupiter or Saturn. You need, you know, a real strong binoculars or a telescope or, you know, actually a, 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 a telescope in space to, like, get a real good detail. But, you know, on a clear day, it's kind of cloudy. But when it's the clouds are removed, I mean, you can see detail with your eyes of the moon, but not the other planets. That is because the moon is within the firmament. It is in the bubble. It is in the dome. That is why you can see it. The dome, the bubble, the firmament, that is based off hydrogen. Hydrogen is the lightest uh, substance in the universe. Hydrogen and helium was the only thing here at the beginning. And hydrogen was like 98%. It's a lot of hydrogen out here in the atmosphere. That's what our atmosphere is made up of. Hydrogen. It's so much hydrogen that goes way back beyond the moon. So, that's why they were able to go to the moon and land on the moon, but will not be able to land on Mars or Venus. Through the history of space exploration so far, we've debated where the Earth's atmosphere ends and space begins. And your surprise for the day is that according to newly unearthed observations, our atmosphere is way bigger than we ever thought. Like, it goes past the moon. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about our beautiful planet Earth and its amazing atmosphere. But this topic is actually about something we don't really understand very well just yet. We're going to be talking about the level of atmosphere known as Geo Corona, which actually still kind of qualifies as atmosphere, but for all intents and purposes we normally actually refer to it as vacuum, and that's because it actually extends very very far away from Earth. As a matter of fact, the very recent paper on this particular topic was actually able to show us that Earth's atmosphere or its dual corona extends way past the moon and actually tickles the moon in a sense. It basically touches the moon and covers it with Earth's atmosphere. Now, this by itself might actually come as a surprise to you, but we've known that Earth's atmosphere affects Moon's surface for a very long time. We've actually discovered molecules from Earth's atmosphere in Moon's rocks for um, as long as the Apollo missions were bringing them back to Earth. First, you need water. The water creates the firmament. Like it said in Genesis, you need water to have a firmament, to have a bubble. You need liquid, you need a gas. H2O. You got two hydrogens and one oxygen. That is such a great substance to have. A plentiful, the whole billions and trillions and trillions of billions of gazillions of gallons of H2O then it warms up turns into a gas 
or excuse me, or evaporates. The hydrogen separates from the oxygen. Then you got oxygen, you got two hydrogens. The hydrogens is the lightest molecule out here. The lightest substance out here. So it goes high. It goes high. You know, the, we create the atmosphere. You know, we got different names for different levels of the atmosphere. All the way to low or they say low orbit earth or low earth orbit is the is the highest of the the highest you can go but that is untrue and the hydrogen spreads beyond there so it's a lot of hydrogen particles over there on the moon and all this can be backed up by science but they said it in different religious texts so you got to understand that of course religious texts were taken and chopped up don't look at it don't take everything verbatim look at the substance look at the main point is the main point being changed i don't want that other stuff with the names and any any little side things i want substance and any throwaways cuz the throwaways sometimes be like main points but we doing a lot of like new discoveries so it was hard to like get it to get to understanding and um you know so everybody wants to be on their own side but come to find out we are together religion science soul matters 